How to edit vlogs? Tutorial in just 5 minutes. Let's go. What is up you guys? Ayo, hey, it's Lance again on your screen and we are back at it again for another video. And for today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to edit your vlogs or other videos properly using your mobile phone and the free editing application to save your time and effort for editing. First step, organize. Before you go on editing your vlogs and videos, you need to organize first every file that you need. You need to create a separate folder for your raw clips, your raw videos, or your A-roll, or your B-roll. Everything that you need for your main layer, put that in one folder. Next, create a separate folder for your overlays such as your green screen effects, PNGs, pictures, memes, and all other things that you want to overlay on your project. Lastly, create a separate folder for your sound effects and background music. Why do we need to be organized? Very simple. To save your time from finding your files around your file manager. Especially when you don't know the file name or you forgot where you saved it. Organizing and creating a designated folder for your files will help you a lot. So, before editing, organize everything. Step number two, trimming. Let's go to an editing application. I'm currently using Kind Master Diamond. If you guys want to get this app, click the video right here. Right here. Let's go. For example, I have this clip that I just created for this tutorial. All you need to do first is to put this video in your editing timeline and trim everything that you don't want to be included in your video. Cut those verbal fillers like, uh, hmm, uh, I think remove unnecessary moments or parts of your videos and lastly remove dead airs it is very important for your video to be consistent and to not be you know boring for your viewers it can also save your time on your editing because you're focusing first on your main layer or your content first before anything else other elements are just to follow prioritize first your main layer do not put overlays first or other sound effects or background music. Please do not place those things first if you haven't finalized your main layer. Why am I saying this? Let's say for example, I will put overlays here and suddenly I forgot to trim some of the unnecessary part from the left or from the start of my main layer. If I trim or cut even a small portion right here, every other layer will move. So, your editing is compromised. You're gonna move one by one again. You need to go back from every layer that you have placed again just because you forgot to trim or finalize your main layer. And that's what I'm telling you that finalize first your main layer before anything else. And when you are now satisfied with the results, you can now move on to the third and last step. Ew. So the third and last step is all about overlays and placing sound effects and background music on your project. If you're now satisfied with your main layer, it is now the time to put those fancy things and important elements for your videos. Start first with your green screen effects and pictures that you want to overlay. After that, if you already set the timing, you can pin that certain layer just like this. After those things, put on your sound effects hi guys welcome back lastly is your background music oh my god at last we're now done it is very easy to work on your background music if everything is already finalized it is very easy to adjust every background music that you have when you know that no one can move your main layer is now very easy to manipulate your background music it is now easy to drag or move your background music around your editing timeline place your background music or scoring on other parts of your videos and when you are now satisfied with it it's time to export your video file that's all if you found this video very helpful a simple like and subscribe would mean a lot to me drop your questions in the comment section below ayo it's lance and i'm signing off don't forget to subscribe peace out